Good morning, my friends, and welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles, your one stop for all things high end statue collecting reviews, unboxing statue chats, and so much more. My name's Chris. I'm the Batman statue collector, and like I said, I'm up really early today because Infinity Studios has a live presentation with a lot of new reveals from what I'm hearing, including some Batman related reveals as well and some teasers that we have not seen before. So I wanted to give you guys my live reaction. Now, they did uh, some parts of this video where there are things that we really don't talk about here on the channel. There are licenses that we don't really talk about that I didn't think you guys would be interested. So I'm kind of starting with some of the bigger stuff. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and live react to this puppy. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> All right, so we're starting out, looks like with Lord of the Rings here. Um, we did see these teased um, not too long ago, and I do have the, um, the video muted here because it is not in English. Um, and no subtitles, so it would have been cool to be able to see what they were saying. But uh, anyway, we're going to start with Legolas here. Uh, we did see this tease. These are half-scale pieces, and um, from what I've seen so far, they look incredible. But I also noticed my Harley and Joker back there in the background, so that's going to be uh, distracting for sure. Man, that portrait looks really good on him. Of course, Orlando Bloom. Man, looks really great. I'm a big fan of his from the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Gosh, look at Gandalf. <laughs> he is massive. Man, the details here, obviously this is going to be um, a mixed media piece, which is really exciting. But again, half scale, so he's massive. Obviously it looks like rooted hair. Cut and sew elements. Really great detail. Oh, they're really focusing on this uh, hand here. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see the face here, Infinity Studios. It's, it's really cool because Infinity Studios, you know, I think of them, I think of bus. Um, and so it's really neat to see them kind of branching out into some of these other scales. Um, of course, like I mentioned, there are a lot of other licenses and lines that, you know, are more fantasy based or, or video game based that I just don't, I don't know anything about, quite frankly. Um, man, look at that. That looks, oh, look at the Joker back there, guys. Look at the Joker. Man, I cannot wait to own that thing. Ugh, so expensive. I don't have any idea what the price point are on these half scales. Um, the bus have been running around four grand uh, for the newer bus. Uh, obviously you see uh, Jason Momoa back there, Aquaman and the Joker they have back there as well <clears throat> from uh, the Joker movie. Sorry, their video was kind of laggy. It's kind of choppy, so I do apologize for that. I think the, the likeness is very, very good. I would say it's a close for me. It's a close 97, 98%. I think it's very, very good. Obviously, it's going to be silicone based, um, which again, I know not everybody likes out there, but I think it looks really cool. Uh, I, I also think the Prime One pieces look really cool. Of course, those are third scale, so. This does offer some variety. If you want a bigger scale, this is going to be the company to go with um, for sure. Obviously, Prime One is going to be polystone. This is going to be silicone. So again, some people like polystone. Some people, I mean, sorry, some people like the silicone. Some people don't. But there is no question that this portrait looks absolutely incredible here. Absolutely incredible. Really, really impressed with that. I just can't get over how big <laughs> Gandalf is. I've heard we also might see some other life-size busts here, which is also very exciting. Uh, they have teased some, like I said, and again, I, I've heard that there's going to be some uh, new teases that we haven't seen before that uh, maybe we are going to be very interested in. So let's definitely stay tuned here. This is exciting. Well, they're definitely spending a lot of time on this guy. I wish they would have maybe spun him around a little bit so we could have seen the back. But obviously, again, lots of great mixed media on this piece again. Looks really great. And again, I'm really distracted by the Joker back there. So I would much rather talk about him. But it's really cool, again, to see these pieces. Uh, looks like they maybe might be moving on here to Gandalf. Let's see. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> uh. Well, I mean, there's no question that that is 
phenomenal. Um, the artists here are phenomenal. I'd like to get to know the Infinity Studios artists. I don't really know any of them uh, who does any of these pieces, so I would love to, to learn more about them. All right, here we go. We're moving on to Gandalf. We did see some teasers, like I said, some quick shots of him. I believe at their um, summer event that they did. He is massive. He is so tall. You are going to need a lot of room to display him. Way taller. It looks like way taller than like a bust would be. Um, really cool. Of course, this is the you shall not pass scene. Um, let's see the portrait here. I'm really anxious to see the Sir Ian portrait here and see um, you know if it looks like him or not. Oh, the base is cool. Robes look good. Very good cut and sew. Again, with half scale, you can do some really accurate stuff. Yeah, that portrait looks good. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, they captured him really well there. Again, we kind of just saw some teasers before, but this is really exciting to see. Again, lots of height. You can only imagine how tall this is going to be at half scale. I can't remember if Prime 1 has done one of him yet or not. I can't remember. I know they've done the Legolas. If not, I'm sure they will. Really cool. And again, I... I what do you guys think about price point on this? Like, what do you guys think that is going to be three, four grand for these? Like the bus? I would imagine with the cut and sew and the silicone heads. I don't know if these are their first half scale pieces or not. I'm trying to remember. But it's interesting, nevertheless. All right, here's a closer look. Yeah, that, that looks really good. Really good portrait. You can really see the rage there, of course, all that uh, hand-punched hair. Looks incredibly realistic. Really neat. Oh, he's touching the silicone. <laughs> looks like, oh, I think he's showing the teeth. Maybe it's, uh, you know, like more like denture type teeth. Looks good. I do think that those teeth look better than the uh, J&D Harley. I uh, wasn't a big fan of those teeth. But I would assume like each time we get new releases, those, those things are going to continue to get improved over time. I can, you know, just almost guarantee that. So that's always, you know, really exciting. Yeah, the base here looks really cool. I like it. Looks like it's got some, like, maybe some, like, translucent resin material type to it. Be kind of neat if it lit up actually the fire that'd be cool <clears throat> well, it looks, looks like they might be moving on to some oh got some life-size bus here as <laughs> a soren back behind her i think man oh it's gonna be crazy all right so again lord of the rings um I honestly don't remember this character's name, but he looks cool. Look at the armor there. Looks very cool. Looks like a Death Eater <laughs> from Harry Potter to me. I love it. Very cool. Very dark figure. This is going to be... I can't imagine this one being a lot of money, though, because there's not... Not a lot going on other than, well... I say that, but <laughs> there's a lot of underneath of it. So would that all be covered? Like, that looks great, though. And the armor looks really, really good, I think. Really impressive. Again, where do you guys stand with life-size busts? Like, I think that they are incredible. But again, I've heard so many collectors say they're not my cup of tea. They'd much rather have the full figure. I feel like you're either, you either are or aren't. I don't know if there's a lot of middle ground there. I have seen some collections uh, like mine, they'll have like a bust here and there. But I don't know, to get something like this, do you have to primarily be a bust collector? I'm curious what you guys think. Because again, these price points, they continue to be in the four grand range. 
Whereas with a third scale, you can get maybe three at that price point. You can get three third scales. Um, so I don't know. Like I know these have, have a lot of punch to your collection for sure. But I'm just curious as to kind of like how you guys feel. So please leave your comments down below what you think about collecting busts in 2021, 2022. Like where are you guys at with it? Um, are you guys willing to spend that money? I know it seems like there must be like a, a really low amount of people buying these. Um, but obviously people are or else they, would, they wouldn't be making them, you know. I, I mean, I'm buying two. <laughs> I'm buying two more. So uh, I guess I'm one of those crazy people. The details here are awesome. Um, very creepy, very dark. Um, obviously, if you are a Lord of the Rings fan, this is going to be a no-brainer piece to add to your collection. Uh, but I'm really excited to see if they go over to the next one here because we, we did see this teased. They oh, started panning over. They started panning over. Okay. So they, they teased this. Yeah, here we go. Okay. They say teased how big... <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Oh, my Lord. Who is going to buy this thing? Who is going to have space for this thing? Oh, my God. It is freaking insane. Like, we did, again, we saw some teasers. We were like, it's it's big. But to see it next to these people here, these awesome hosts, get the ring on his finger. Man, he is big. He is incredible. But again, who is going to have the room for this thing? Who is going to have the space to put this in their collection? Again, you have to be a major, major Lord of the Rings fan to add this. But it looks incredible. Again, it's going to pair really nicely with the one they just showed a second ago. Again, I apologize for not knowing his name. It's been a minute since I've watched these films. But really impressive. It's just so big. That's what she said. Sorry, I had to throw in a Mr. X quote there, right? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, there's Catwoman back there, guys. I have a feeling they're going to talk, talk about her. She does go up for pre-order this week. Gosh, look at the size of him. <clears throat> his, head, his, head, his whole hand is bigger, way bigger than this guy's head. Incredible details, without a doubt. Really, man, really cool. Okay, I... I love all this stuff. I'm ready to get to the DC stuff, guys. I'm ready. I'm ready to move on. Oh, come on. Gosh, this thing is just massive. Massive. This is a good way to wake up today, right, guys? This is a great way to get up early and check out these videos. It's really fun. And again, thank you guys very much for being here with me uh, watching this. Uh, reaction. So thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you are enjoying it, please hit that like button. That does help the channel out tremendously. So thank you guys very much. Um, but again, great piece here from Infinity Studios. Obviously, they're putting on a great presentation. I love these type of presentations. If they can't be there in person at a convention or something like that, it's really cool to be able to see them uh, here on these videos. Again, I apologize for the choppiness here. It is a little choppy. Really cool piece. Really cool. What do you guys predict the price? Make a prediction down in the comments down below. What do you guys think of the price point? What do you think it's going to be? I'm really curious as to what you think here. All right, I see them moving back toward Catwoman here. This is very cool. Let's see what we get here. Very, very cool. All right, she looks great. So we did see some teasers of her, of course, and now we have the pre-order up, and so we have all those official photos and things. Um, but let's let's see if we get a close-up of her. Um, wow. So there's some question of whether the bottom is an LED light. I think it's just painted. I don't think it's an LED. I mean, just look at that. Look how good the likeness is here. Um, I think it's really phenomenal. Um, like I was saying, I know that the pose here might be a little bit wonky. Um, you know, it's like she's getting ready to touch her mask and flip that mask down. So I'm okay with the pose overall. I think it looks really good. 
and I do think that this is one of their best likenesses to date. Uh, I think it's really good. Of course, I'm going to give uh, more of my in-depth opinion here in a soon video, but look at the base here. Uh, obviously, you got the Brooklyn Bridge, uh, you know, from that from the movie Dark Knight uh, Rises. Um, but again, I think this is going to really complement any collection if you are a Dark Knight fan. So, like, do I get this one? Do I get the Bat Pod? I don't know. I think they did a really, really great job with the likeness. You can really see her eyes. Um, I know the mask flips down, uh, which I don't. I would never display it that way. But again, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Do you guys think I should get this one or keep my Bat Pod? with Catwoman on top of it, the one-third scale piece from Queen Studios. What do you guys think? Um, man, it's just, I think she looks beautiful. I think it's really well done. Really, really well done. And again, the gun thing with Warner Brothers, it is what it is. Um, would it have been cool to have a gun in her hand? Yes, I think so, but I, I like this. I like that she's getting ready to tap her mask down. I think that they were smart. They kind of kept that same pose from the promo shot, but obviously, um, improvised a little bit um, again I'm not sure on the strip um, it looks painted to me um, I mean it looks like it's lit but it's painted uh, so I don't think there's actually an LED element in it I could be wrong I will try to confirm that with you guys uh, as soon as I find out for sure um, obviously they're announcing ES and stuff like that too so I will give you all that information as well um, I haven't confirmed a price point yet I'm assuming around four grand, maybe a little less, maybe a little bit more. We'll see. Uh, but I do think she looks really great. But again, it's like some people are like, it's weird because it's like it's kind of creepy because they're they're cut off at the waist. You know, it'd be just cool just to have a full size figure. And I agree, I think that would have been cool. Um, so I don't know, I don't know. I have some thinking to do for sure. All right, let's see what is next. Obviously, they're getting ready to move on. Let's see what's next here. What is this? Oh, is this Dark Knight bust? Incredible likeness. Holding the cowl. So I wonder if you could put the cowl on his head somehow. Wow, wow, wow. Dark Knight. <laughs> Dark Knight. Okay, so maybe here's the cow version here. No, that's, that's, that's Robert Pattinson. You can tell by the back of the cow. So they're doing a life-size The Batman. Gargoyle looks cool. Uh, not sure I love the pose, but it looks cool. What's Superman? Henry Cavill, look at this. has got to be the black suit. He's got the angry face. Wow, life-size Henry Cavill. Here we go. Obviously, of course, you know, we've seen one before with he was, we're, from them, Justice League. Wow, Zack Snyder. Wow, that's a cool pose. That's a cool pose, right? What else do we got? Oh, I think this, that like Arnold, yeah, it's Terminator. See the likeness on it. Wow, incredible likeness. Old Man Terminator, Dark Fate, that, that looks cool. Again, life-size bust. What do we got now? Oh, we we saw this one teased. This is a game of, Game of Thrones. Can't really tell the likeness on that. Not bad. I think. Yeah, that's the end of the video. So what do you guys think? Oh my gosh, okay, so let's uh, kind of recap here. Um, I think the the Lord of the Rings stuff looks really good. Um, I'm really excited about the bus. I, I am, I'm, I'm trying to like wrap my head around the bus there at the end. Dark Knight bust, uh, definitely a maybe for me, especially if I go the Catwoman route, because I would have the Catwoman, Joker, and Batman. You know they're probably going to do a Bane. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine a Two-Face? Oh, I'm in trouble, guys. I'm in trouble here. I'm in trouble. Okay. So, Catwoman and Batman obviously stand out to me the most. Those other busts looks great. Um, 
Oh my gosh. Okay, so I've got some thinking to do. I've got some thinking. But so that that's my live reaction, guys. Um, I, of course, I want to talk more about this on Rogues Gallery Live. We'll do that. Um, but I just wanted to react. I just wanted to kind of share that with you guys this morning. Um, but again, in the comments down below, let me know what you thought was cool, what you liked the most, what reveal you saw that you're like, whoa, I've got to have that. Um, also, again, these price points are going to be really insane, guys. So, um, you know, again, let me know where you stand on bus, the price points. Let me know all of that stuff. Just, you know, talk, talk, talk in the comments. I love to read them. Um, but it's really cool. So Infinity Studios, thank you for putting out a great presentation. That was really fun. Um, again, I apologize if I didn't cover the stuff that I don't really you know, necessarily care about. Uh, I just thought I would put on the stuff that you guys would care about here on the channel. So anyway, really cool stuff coming from them. Um, and again, just another great company putting out really great, amazing likenesses. It's just really just awesome to see that. So anyway, thank you guys so very much for watching my reaction. Thank you. If you are new here, please hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, click that notification bell, click the join button for early access to our videos and all of that good stuff. And just thanks for taking time out of your day to watch me react to a video. Love you guys. I'll see you soon right here in the back cave. Bye everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.